you know, they score a lot in transitioning and on the three points um, and shooting threes, and that's what they did. You know, we were talked about trying not to give them opportunities by turning the ball over. We didn't want to turn it over in the backcourt, and I thought for the most part we handled their press. They took it off in the second half, but just in the half court we had some errant passes and stuff. They were able to get some easy baskets in transition, and when that didn't happen, we didn't match up in uh, – we, I thought we hate, we played our press pretty well, but we didn't come out of it. We were running back to the paint instead of guarding the three-point line. So one of the things we talked about is taking away transition and, and contesting all their threes, and I didn't feel like we did that consistently. Yeah, I, yeah it did. I, I didn't feel like we had quite the energy we had in the um, last night's game, and, and that's to be expected when you have a win like last night. Yeah. And we played a lot of, you know, played our starters a lot of minutes, and so to ask them to come back and get ready to, to upset, quote unquote, another team that's got a winning record was a lot to ask. And we just didn't quite have that energy out of the gates like we needed. And Augustana got beat pretty handily last night by Winona, so I knew they'd be ready to go. They didn't want to get two losses on the road. And, and yeah. you know, they're not like the best in the league at the three point shooting field goal percentage, but they shoot a lot. They've coming into the game, they shot over 500. They've been taking 100 more than the next people in conference, yeah. next team in conference. And so when you shoot that many, you're going to hit some, even right. no matter what your percentage is. Yep. You know, we, we talked about just mentally that we wanted to, to make it look like we were getting better, where our process for this journey of this year was getting better, that we're getting more consistent, and we wanted to be able to compete. And, you know, I was really disappointed with our start. Um, you know, I did kind of feel like we had low energy. Um, I, I don't know if it's just that we didn't have enough rest from last night to the night or what. But, um, you know, I thought our kids were ready. We'd been working on stuff all week with them. And it's just you can't leave the wrong kids wide open. And, yeah. you know, it's the thing. They didn't hit coming out of the second half. I felt like, oh, they're missing some of these shots. But in the first half, they were on fire. Yeah, I think that she's had a solid weekend. Um, and, and we've been kind of waiting for Carrie to come along. I yeah. thought Carrie would really help us out coming to Upper Iowa. It just took her a little while to adjust to this at the college level, I think, coming from uh, high school to here, it's always an adjustment for kids and how quickly they can adjust usually is how quickly they have more success. And what Carrie's done a nice job of is just picking up her defense. Um, she's been, you see her at the front of that press, she picks some kids, gets some easy looks from it, um, and she's shooting the ball really well. You know, I think that that's something, too. I took her out one time in the second half and said, I'm not going to beg you to shoot it, kiddo. Um, I think as freshmen, they constantly want to look for the pass instead of yeah. looking for themselves. And I think once she figures that out, she's really going to take off.